The number of cases continues to increase in the region, but at a slower pace. The curve continues to flatten. Local officials say that's encouraging, even though an expected peak is coming, and they say people still need to stay home. But there continues to be a disconnect with what federal officials are saying in calling Philadelphia a hot spot. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here now to sort it all out. Steph? Well, Yuki, first of all, state and local officials don't want to argue with federal officials because we need those resources. And this could be a situation of analyzing different data. We're glad for the attention because uh, we need all the resources we can. Health Commissioner Dr. Farley, in responding to the new federal attention, continues to say the numbers of COVID-19 cases are a little better in Philadelphia as we approach an expected peak. An area of particular concern we were briefed on this morning is the city of Philadelphia. That bombshell on Wednesday had federal officials identifying potential hot spots and bunching Philadelphia with our surrounding cities. Now in the Philadelphia metro area where I come from, um, it's 1,400 cases per day. This, of course, includes Camden, the counties around the Philadelphia metro and Wilmington. Yes, the region has had an increased number of cases, but the pace has slowed. Dr. Farley says federal officials appear to be looking at trends rather than specific numbers. I'm more optimistic about our trend uh, that it's, not, it's been rising quite quickly, but in the last few days it has been rising much more slowly. Uh, I can't guarantee that will continue. Uh, but if it does, that would be a good sign. The Health Share Exchange report that covers the Philadelphia region shows both inpatient and emergency department volume is trending down. And it highlights neighborhoods in Philadelphia with the highest concentrations of COVID-19 cases. At the top, Cobbs Creek King Sessing, followed by Fox Chase, North Philadelphia, West Philadelphia, and Fairmount. Our message to the people of the Philadelphia area is now more than ever. A practice the social distancing. And officials say social distancing has helped to flatten the curve in our area and that people need to continue to stay home except for getting necessities. And if you have to be out, remember to wear a mask. Yuki. Mm -hmm. All right, Stephanie, thank you.